starting Monday. When you text 438829, not only will you instantly see where vaccines near you are available, you will also be offered a free ride there and back. The White House doing everything possible to make sure anyone who wants a COVID-19 vaccine gets one. The news comes as some state-run vaccine sites here in Georgia prepare to close. CBS 46 is Adam Murphy live tonight at the mass vaccination site next to the Delta Airlines Museum explaining why today is your last chance uh, to get that COVID shot, Adam. Good afternoon, Sean. The state decided to close all eight mass vaccination sites statewide including this one, like you said, near the airport. And look at the picture here. It's worth a thousand words. Pretty empty parking lot, a few cars rolling in from time to time. And the Georgia Emergency Manage Agency tells me they've administered a total of 350,000 vaccinations during the past three months here. But each day, fewer and fewer people are using these drive through sites. It boils down to a supply and demand issue. In February, they were given giving several thousand shots a day, and now it's about 500 a day. The state says the vaccine is more readily available and the mass vaccination sites like this are no longer necessary. So we started this process on February 22nd, and we managed to get right around 4,000 people through a day uh, for several days. And then I think what happened was demand kind of curtailed off because the vaccine was more readily available. All right, so here's the concern. If you look at this map provided by the State Department of Health, the darker shaded areas show a higher vaccination rate, but you'll notice in many parts of the state there are lighter colored areas with a much lower vaccination rate. Still, the number of people fully vaccinated in Fulton County, where we are at now, is under 30%. So some are wondering why they would let these sites go. But again, the state is saying the vaccine is readily available. We're going to dig into this a little bit deeper and have much more coming up all new next hour. And we'll talk to people, see what they have to say about it. Live near the airport, Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.